I'll be showing breakout rooms in Microsoft Teams meetings. So I have a meeting here and I'm going to click it and I'll click join. Turn on my video. So I'm going to join a meeting and we're going to break people into rooms and show exactly how this all works. So let's click join. Hey folks, great to be in this meeting today. We're going to be showing breakout rooms in Teams. So to get started, what I'm going to do is on the top of my meeting, there's this little breakout rooms icon and I'm going to click this. The first thing it's going to ask me is how many breakout rooms do you want to create? Now I'll just be creating four today and I'll drop this down and choose four, but you can create up to 50 breakout rooms. So you've got a lot of flexibility. The other option here is participants. And would you like to automatically assign them, which I'll be doing here. And it says assign 15 people into four rooms, or you can choose to manually add participants into each breakout room, but I'll be choosing automatically and I'll say create rooms says they're being created. Now on the right hand pane, you can see it's created four different rooms and it has four people, four people, four people, and three. The number of people is indicated with that little parentheses there. Now I could choose to add additional rooms here, which I'm not going to do, but I can also rename the rooms. So in this case, I'm going to choose the dot, dot, dot menu and choose to rename this room and we'll give them colors. So this is the blue room. And we'll just speed ahead and rename the other rooms color. So give me just a second. Okay. Now you can see that I've renamed the four breakout rooms as four colors. What I can do next is I can actually choose to move people around. So you can see as I open up each room, you can see these people are assigned automatically to the rooms and I haven't started the rooms yet. So let's say I have Mr. Adam short shorts here. He's in the blue room, but you know what? I think he's on team Flipgrid. He should be in the green room, right Adam? So let's assign and I'm going to move Adam over to the green room. So now down here, you can see that Adam is in the green room. So it's really easy to move people around if they're not in the room that gets automatically assigned. Let's go into room settings. So go to the dot, dot, dot and click room settings. And by default, everyone gets automatically moved into open rooms, but I could uncheck that if I want to do it manually, but we'll leave it checked. Also, you can recreate the rooms. What does that mean? That means I can blast away all the current rooms and it will let me recreate like five or 10 more rooms. I'm not going to do that right here, but if you need to restart and blast them away, that's where you do it. And now we are ready to start our rooms. So I'm going to click the start rooms button right here. And on the attendee side, what's going to happen is they're going to get pulled into the breakout room that I've set up. So they'll get pulled out of this main meeting and they will get pulled into their breakout room meetings. And then we'll show what it looks like to be inside on the attendee side. So let's click start rooms and get ready to say goodbye to everyone. They're going to get moved into their rooms. Bye. Now, what if somebody joins the meeting late? Like here's an example right here. Oh my gosh, Mike, I'm totally late. Where do I go? Oh, don't worry, Ann. I will be able to assign you to a room. You know, I think you would be perfect in the green room with team Flipgrid. So I'm going to assign Ann right here. So Ann Cosma, I'm going to select her name and choose assign. And it asks which room. I'm going to put you in the green room. Bye bye, Ann. One thing I can do is send a message to everyone that I want to communicate. So I can make an announcement across all the breakout rooms. Hey, folks, start brainstorming on your whiteboard. And I'll send this, and everyone will get this message in their chat. We've sent your announcement to all of the rooms. Now, what I'll be doing is I'm going to switch and show what it looks like from the attendee experience from people who are already inside the breakout room. So we're just going to switch over now. Now we're inside of the blue breakout room. There's three people in here, Benjamin, Kayla, and Steven. Then Steven in the lower right is going to open up the meeting chat. He's driving the meeting here. Now you can see he's going to turn on recording. He's also going to turn on transcripts because all those features work in this team's meeting. Now they have a visitor here. Hey, there's me. Now Steven's going to turn on together mode because together mode works inside of these meetings as well. Now Steven's starting the whiteboard. Along the bottom, you can see the speaker attribution. You can see Steven talking, Kayla, and then Benjamin. Steven is leading a session on the whiteboard, but you can see this is a fully operational teams meeting and everything is captured. Now note in the upper right, there's a new announcement, a new message. Now Steven's going to open the chat panel and this is a message sent by the organizer who was me in this case. So that comes right through and everyone can get a sense of what the announcements are. Now I'm going to leave this meeting and go show how the organizer can officially join into another breakout room. I'm going to go visit the green room and see how they're doing in there. 
I click the dot, 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 and I'll click join room. This is great. We have a lot of things to work with. Hey, folks. That is a beautiful looking whiteboard. I'm joining the green room. This is where the party is. <laughs> Woo. Awesome. Great. So I'm going to go and leave now and make a message post to tell everyone to come back into the main room. I'll see y'all later. And then to just go back into my main meeting, I click resume. Now the breakout rooms have had plenty of time to be working on their brainstorming. I'm going to send a message that I'll be closing the breakout rooms in just a minute. So we go to the dot, dot, dot again, choose make an announcement. I'll be closing the breakout rooms in one minute. So I'll send this out. We've sent an announcement to all the rooms. Okay. Now to close the rooms out and bring everyone back into this meeting, I'm going to click close rooms. So it'll bring everyone back. Now I've switched to one of the breakout rooms to show what they experienced. There's a message that appears that says this room will close in 10 seconds and you'll automatically be moved back into the main meeting. Hey everyone, welcome back from the breakout rooms. Looks like lots of great brainstorming and collaboration was happening in there. Now the way it works is you can see on the right hand side, each of the rooms is now closed. So none of the attendees can go back in. The other thing that happens is if you're an attendee who is in a breakout room, all of the files and whiteboard and information will be stored in a meeting chat that the educator or the owner of that meeting can access. So I will be able to go and access each of those four breakout rooms materials. And I'll show what that looks like in a second. If you are in a breakout room, you can only access the materials of your own breakout room. So the red room can't go check out the green room stuff and, and vice versa but you will have read only access to those materials. One other thing to note as the meeting organizer, I have the ability to go and change the rights of organizer versus attendees. All of the people in the breakout rooms by default are as presenters. But if I wanted to change that beforehand, I could go into meeting options as the meeting organizer and set different people to have different roles before those breakout rooms start. So if you only want to have a group leader who is, has the rights to do a whiteboard or presenting, you can set those in the meeting options beforehand. Now, after this meeting is over, if I wanted to create participants into new breakout rooms, I could still do that. So I could add additional rooms here and I could reshuffle things. I've just shown the simple version where we just had breakout rooms that started and ended, but you could add more and change that around afterwards if you wanted as well. Now the meeting is complete. As the organizer, I can see the four breakout rooms green, blue, red, and yellow. These are stored as meeting chats. And as the organizer, I can go and see there was a meeting. There's a meeting transcript. If there were whiteboards in here, I can check that out right here and meeting notes. So for example, if I go to the blue room and click on whiteboard, I can get access to the exact whiteboard that they were working on. And then in the main meeting itself, this is the main meeting chat that everyone has access to. You can see there's a nice photo of together mode. So this allows you to gather all the content that was aggregated as the organizer. And as a reminder, the people in the yellow room only have access to their yellow room chat. They can't see the red or blue or green. They can only see the room that they were in. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.